Henry is a troubled man within a troubled landscape, an industrial rusted wasteland of discomforts, where everything is grimy and unfortunate sights await within shadows. Henry, during an uncomfortable dinner with his girlfriend's family, learns that he is to become a father of what they are uncertain may or may not be a baby. This is David Lynch's classic surrealist nightmare, Eraserhead, a film made on a shoestring budget, but manages to spew a depth of intensity. Joel Blackledge, writing for Little White Lies, summarises the film by stating, Production lasted an incredible five years, with Lynch's skeleton crew shooting in abandoned stables and working from a 21-page script. In the lead role, Lynch cast Jack Nance, the beginning of a lifelong collaboration, with hunched shoulders, rigid back and arms stuck to his side. Nance's Henry is the picture of discomfort. Jack Nance's performance as Henry is incredibly expressive, illustrating a range within the realm of tension, from quietly uncomfortable and modest to complete mental breakdown and fear. The film explores in depth the extent and forms of which fear can take. Danny Lee, writing for The Guardian, states that there was an epic scale to the fear. No humdrum new dad ennui, but a rolling freak out at sperm sex lot. When the baby cries, mules really, it sounds like all our inner children bleating their unhappiness. And when Henry has dinner with the in-laws, we watch as he joins the dreadful beckoning loop of family life, turning into our parents over oozing mini chickens. Avoiding the cliches when portraying a man reluctant of becoming his role as a father, Danny Lee suggests that the fears depicted focus on intense depictions, almost exaggerating the fears of a new parent through a surrealist lens. A scene of the grotesque as the lady in the radiator crushes under her feet sperm-like creatures as they squirt and spew on the floor, the disturbance of a child's cry causing an instinctual reaction, and when Henry's position as a guest during dinner with his in-laws results in everything going wrong, portraying these scenes with surrealism does not make these images any less relatable for those who have been reluctant parents themselves, with the pressures and responsibilities expected of them. A Razorhead is a film often debated about its meaning. Joel Blackledge states that fans still debate what it all means but it's hard not to put Lynch's own backstory at the centre of it. The director's first child was born when he was 21, and he worked as a printer to support his family in a rundown part of Philadelphia that was worlds away from his own childhood in Middle America. Lynch was, by his own admission, a reluctant father. His baby was born with club feet and put immediately into a cast, which could have inspired Henry's feeling of hopelessness in the face of his baby's illness. Even Henry's physical appearance, a dark suit and craft defying hair is the trademark look that Lynch continues to rock to this day. With this understanding of Eraserhead, it seems likely that Eraserhead is a personal reflection of David Lynch's own caution about becoming a father, Henry potentially being a character reflection of Lynch himself down to the distinctive hairstyle. With this information, it is understandable why common interpretation of Eraserhead is that it focuses on a new father's reluctance to accept fatherhood. However, Joel Blackledge further adds that the director almost famously insists on each viewer's right to let his films mean what they will. He refuses to deconstruct his images not out of stubbornness, but because he wants to prompt discussion and debate. Led by the mantra, what you know is valid, he's a filmmaker motivated by instincts and dreams. He begins with feelings and works backwards from there. This suggests that David Lynch intends for the film to have no single correct interpretation and intends to truly delve into the subjective if one viewer has a different interpretation to another, whether the interpretations are based on analysing the film's distinctive imagery, or if they are based solely on gut feelings, both interpretations are equally valid. In conclusion, David Lynch's Eraserhead is a nightmarish classic, impressive as a directorial debut filmed on a shoestring budget, but even more impressive is the distinctive imagery and wealth of meaning that could potentially be hiding behind every shot. Although a common interpretation of the film is a story of a man's reluctance to accept fatherhood, the film is intended for inviting debate and discussions based on its meaning. What the film actually means is all down to the person viewing it.